it's that time of the year again where Pepsi comes out with Mountain Dew Voodoo 2023 edition. That's correct. And comparisons into last year, it's, this is Mountain Dew Voodoo from last year compared to this year. And we're trying both of these out again. And we'll be trying two new other things too, guys. The new Pringles Harvest Blend Sweet Potato Smoky Barbecue and the 7-Up Tropical. So without any further ado guys, let's pause this video, read the nutrition facts, and we're going ahead and try all of these and review them. Okay guys, we're probably going to save the uh, Tropical and Pringles for last. We're just going to go ahead and try them out in the new video this new year. So, basically if you guys don't know what Mountain Dew Voodoo is, Mountain Dew Voodoo released a thing back in 2019 and it continues throughout every single Halloween year. And you got to try to guess the flavor of what this is. So without any further ado, let's take the smell first. Okay, it smells kind of like the, this one, honestly. I'm not going to lie. But you guys did read it, though. It did say 2023 on here. Oh, I like that. Pinpoint reaction. The first taste, it is not sour, okay? Last year's edition was very sour, and it was South Patch Kids Mountain Dew released from last year. This one tastes like a bubble gum, like a sweet bubble gum, you know? I think that's what it is. I think this, this tastes just like bubble gum. It's like a... It's like bubble gum, but with something else mixed with it, though. It's like, um... I don't know how to describe this. To me, it does taste like bubble gum mixed with some kind of like citrus fruit or some kind of citrus candy. That's how I describe this one. It's really good. To be honest with you, I don't think it was better than last year's though, but this is a lot better than the past one that we had in 2021. So this is definitely a lot better. And this one right here is still the best one. I do got the Mountain Dew video from 2021, but I'm keeping that one. That's why I'm not reviewing it in this video. Let's go ahead and try this other one now. The, Mount the Mountain Dew from last year. That thing's exploded over there. You see that? Oh, yeah, that's so sour. Oh, yeah, that's not bad, kids. Honestly, I still got three more cases of these of this stuff too from last year, so it's kind of weird comparing this into last year. And what I do from this year is I buy a twelve pack of this and everything, and I'll review uh, next year's with this year's. My honest opinion, though, would I buy Mountain Dew Voodoo 2023 edition again? Yes, I will. I do love the soda, though. This is a very good soda, and I will be buying this again. From 0 out of 20, I'm going to rate this probably a 15 out of 20. Because this is really good, and I still love this. And we got to go with the classic Mountain Dew Voodoo from last year. I'm just going to rate this one a 11.3. It's good. It's sour. Probably do good as a popsicle, too, if you put it on a popsicle. Let's go ahead and try the Pringles Harvest Blends, the Sweet Potato Smoked Barbecue. Pardon me. But yeah, that tastes just like bubblegum though. I'm not lying. That's like bubblegum with some kind of citrus in it. It's really good. Here's the Pringles Sweet Potato one.
it's not that good. The uh, texture on it is like a normal Pringle chip, but it's like grainy at the end, like when you go swallow, so it's like a bit grainy or something. Not the best, not the greatest, but um, it just tastes like your normal, like your typical normal um, Pringles barbecue chips, except with a different aftertaste to it. The aftertaste is not good either. Yeah, it's, I, I don't think it's terrible though, but I've certainly had some better stuff from Pringles than this though, and this this one isn't it though. Um, definitely something worth trying if you guys haven't tried these out and everything, they're definitely worth trying out all this new stuff. It's really nice to expand your taste buds and your uh, varieties of what stuff that you might like and I'm down and try all all this new stuff, you know. Pringles, I'm gonna wait this one. Uh, eight point eight. It's not that good. Last but not least, guys, the Seven Up Tropical. Let's see a butterfly coming you. It's about to storm outside, Bally. These clouds out here are dark as can be. Oh. It smells like. Mango. Oh, yeah. It's mango and pineapple. Oh my. You can take. You can definitely taste both of them too. Wow. I come in clutch. I honestly do not like mango, and I don't like pineapple, but honestly, in this 7-Up right here, though, I actually kind of like that. You can definitely taste everything in this. This Tropical 7-Up, you can, you can taste the mango and the pineapple in here. You can definitely taste both of these. That is coming in strong, too. Gave uh, uh, this Mountain Dew review from this year. The Seven Up though, it goes down smooth. The combination is just like you know, it's typical soda. But the Seven Up, the Pepsi, added a good flavor into this one. It's very strong, and honestly, I do like it though. It's not something the Mountain Dew and the Seven Up is not something I would buy every single day. And I don't know if this is limited time only. It doesn't really say on this one, but to me, when I buy the Seven Up again. It's, it's a yes and no for me. I mean, I like it, but on the other hand, I would just rather have my normal 7-Up and everything, but, um, excuse me. Honestly, though, it's really good. To be honest, guys, if you guys haven't tried any of these, let me know if you guys can find any of these and try them. Kroger's actually had this, by the way, and they also had this. But I just got one from Pepsi and stuff earlier, so thank you, Pepsi. Not sponsored, by the way. But, um, anywho, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried last year's Mountain Dew Voodoo as well. This, I think last year's is really good. It does pack a punch to people who's not got sourness to it. And this one has some tautness to it, so that one was really good. But like I said, though, guys, let me know in the comments if you've got if you've tried the Pringles, Smoky Barbecue, Harvest Blends, Mountain Dew Voodoo 2023 edition, which, if you guys haven't seen it yet, you guys go ahead and wait for it though. The original release date for this to come out was supposed to be September the 11th and it's September the 7th. So, um, probably wait to that date or a little bit after that date and try to see if Walmart or any of your local grocery stores actually have that. But, also let me know in the comments down below guys if you guys have had the 7-Up Tropical yet. This is actually, this was came out before the, the video did. Is what I was told for my for my sister at least. Um, but yeah, out of all of these, if I had to pick one, out of all of these, I'm gonna go with the Mountain Dew Voodoo 2023 edition as this is really good. I'm not gonna pick the Mountain Dew Voodoo 2022 
2 edition because th this is just supposed to be a comparison between this and this. So this is not so, so supposed to be in the video, but I did want to add it though. Because it does compare with this as it's the same thing, except different taste. And different color, by the way. I actually kind of love the color on this one. It's, it's nice. But... Yeah, it, I mean, it'll, be, it'll be interesting, guys, to hear your thoughts and comments if you ever do find Mountain Dew Video 2023 edition. And to come back over here looking for the review and you want to see what I thought about it for future people who haven't uh, tried it yet and you want to just try it and then come back and watch my review. That's kind of nice of you all. Of you, of you all. Um, but with all that being said, guys, I think we're pretty much done here with today's video. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. And again, Kogos has this and this. And I also have this one as well, so. Unless you did pre-order this like I did from Pepsi, then you can get this from Pepsi, by the way. But uh, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, and before we end the video, don't forget to check out my main channel, it's Chris Station. We do all kinds of random content on that channel. I try to upload every week on that channel though, so it's just random content, so you, you, you never know what you're going to find over there on that channel. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.